Hi, I'm uh, Fausto Pinto. I'm the president-elect of the European Society of Cardiology for 2012-2014. And I'm here in Munich uh, with great pleasure hosting uh, our colleagues from Brazil. I have Dr. Luis Matos, who is the scientific director of uh, the Brazilian Society of Cardiology. He's here today. Hello. Uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome the Brazilian Society. It's one of the main societies, affiliate societies, with a lot of presence here in, uh, uh, in Munich. Uh, we have uh, in Paris almost uh, 1,200 uh, Brazilians, colleagues, and here we have already 800 colleagues, so it's a great pleasure. So, Luis, uh, what can you tell me about your impression about this meeting, the ESC meeting, from a Brazilian perspective? Fausto, thank you for being here. You are very welcome. For us in Brazil, it's an uh, exciting honor to be here. Uh, the reason that the Brazilians like so much and attend the ESC meeting is really for the suburb meeting that is being built up along the years. So uh, the reason is just coming here for uh, new uh, evidences, educational programs, seeing the guidelines and getting together with, with, uh, with what you have of utmost news in cardiology. Very good. Uh, can you give us a little bit the impression that uh, you have regarding the relationship between the ESC and the Brazilian society, which is a big society, the Brazilian society? From the Brazilian society standpoint, what is the main advantages or the, the main programs and the main things that they've been doing with the ESC and being part of the ESC family? Yes, Fausto. For uh, BSC, the Brazilian Society of Cardiology, this uh, exchange in scientific program is getting closer and stronger during the last three years. And we're really building up a new relationship and getting very close. We start exchanging meetings, join together. They started small and then they become one-day programs between the two annual meetings. For us in Brazil, having the opportunity to receive the S delegation for a, a one day, a whole one day in our annual meeting, it's a superb opportunity for the colleagues that attend our meeting around something around seven, 7,000 physicians to have the S delegation, the presential uh, face to face and to hear from them the news about uh, the ESC meeting they usually uh, is the venue is two weeks before. So it's a great opportunity to exchange scientific uh, information and improving again guidelines and getting together in these situations. And how do you see the future of uh, our relationship? What other things you think we can do together? We are really improving that. First, we want really to improve the number of delegates, the fellows that becomes fellows of the ESC. Second, we really uh, expanding to another programs in Brazil, scientific opportunities like the prevention care that will be uh, will be planned to happen in November in Rio de Janeiro, and also to expand the electronic opportunities, not have the ESC only uh, once in a year uh, in Europe, but all, also in our home, in our website, using the scientific the electronic problems that ESC just can exchange to us and that by, by, this, by this means uh, go inside the home of the colleagues with new information, very fresh, and not only in the presidential, in the, in the scientific uh, meeting. So a lot to do to reduce the burden of cardiovascular disease in both parts of the world. And I take the opportunity again to thank you on behalf of uh, the ESC, thank the Brazilian community for being here and for all the exchange that has had with the European Society of Cardiology. So we had this short conversation with Dr. Luis Matos, the scientific director of the Brazilian Society of Cardiology. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fausto.